There's a fish. All right, there are fish in here. Come on, bud. There are bass in here. Wow, not a big one. Eating a big bait, though. I want your grandma. I want your great grandma. Jesus. Dude was never coming off. Look at that. Little another eight incher, man. I caught an eight incher yesterday. It was the only fish I got. Always fun to fish new ponds, though, and you don't know if they're going to fill this one in or not. The pond is worth nothing. It's the land, so if they can fill it in, they will. There's a bite. Ugh, I got him. That's a much better fish, I think. He's just out there in the middle. Come on, bud. Stay on. Now oh, he's a small one, too. He is better, though. Very beautiful fish, oh my goodness. We had him double hooked. Oh my God. This guy was never coming off either. That guy, not much bigger than the last one, but still went from about eight inches to about a 10 incher right here. Pretty little guy. Thanks for playing, bud. He's pretty cold to the touch, but not that bad, really. I mean, you would think he'd be colder, considering you probably could walk across this pond a week ago. There we go. Last cast from this spot. I just hit the uh, point. There's a fish. Oh, I got him. That's a good fish too. Not a giant. Could eat the first two we got today. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Well, we have no choice but to tripod him. I know there's gotta be much bigger than this in here, but that's a good feeling. Look at his eyeball move. He's like having a seizure. Oh my God. And most likely this fish has never been caught before. All right, well, I'm not even gonna weigh that guy. I doubt if he goes two pounds, but he's beautiful because he's in clear water. And like I said, probably gonna be the last fish of the day. Damn near the only fish of the day. It's been really tough. I mean really tough. Like not even catching one fish a day. All right, normally wouldn't try pot a dink like this, probably a pound and a half, but somebody had to be the thumbnail. I had high hopes for today. This is probably gonna be the biggest fish of the day and the one we're gonna end it on. We'll see if there's another one on that point. Would not be surprised if there's an absolute monster bass in this pond, but probably not gonna get him today. It's been brutal. Brutal! I really had hoped this fish would be a lot bigger than that. When I set the hook, he barely moved. Thanks anyway, bud. Off he goes. Fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. Almost pulled the rod out of my hand. Be hooked well. Almost pulled the rod out of my hand. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, no, don't. Come on. Oh, not as big as I had thought. How did you almost take the rod out of my hand, little man? First one of the day we're actually gonna weigh. First one of the day, I actually want to tripod. I tripoded the last one because I thought it might be the only fish I'd get out of here. Now all of a sudden we've had four bites. That guy, he's gonna be high twos, I think. Wow, okay, so I thought I had like an eight pounder. I just, man, 
I really feel like there's probably a giant in this pond. I mean real giant, like PB for sure. And I'm so expecting to get a giant out of here. Look at this guy biting me. Two pounds, six ounces. Wow. Okay. Well, it's not the giant I thought I had. I mean, when he, he really did, I'm not exaggerating, this two pound, six ounce bass almost took the rod out of my hand. So I definitely thought I had one bigger than that. Oh my God, the wind is gonna make this hard. Let's try and be quick with it. Almost a two and a half pounder. Almost took the rod out of my hand. I thought I had a real giant. I just get the feeling, man, there's probably like a 17 pound bass in this pond somewhere. Here we go. This one makes the day right here, though. Alrighty. Well, not the easiest spot to let a fish go. Okay, behave, buddy. Okay, okay, you're gonna be tough. Sorry. Sorry, God, I know everybody hates seeing me throw a fish. I just pulled Ben Milliken, but I had no choice. Ben Milliken stands on his freaking front end of the boat and throws him in the water. I don't have a choice here. Fish! He ate it as it was sinking. How do we land him, though? How do we land him? All right, that's how we land him. Oh man, he's long and skinny. That sucks. Come on, where are the giants that I know are in here? I'm not even gonna tripod this guy. I know there's gotta be some freaks in this pond. That guy is skinny. Oh my God. Screw that. That sucks. That's disappointing. fish. I didn't screw around that time. I set the hook as soon as I felt him. What is that? It's a little large mouth. Ugh, little guy. Where are the giants, man? I've never seen a pond in my life that I was more confident had probably like many, many big fish in it. And yet, I've now caught it. Decent number of fish today, still waiting on that giant. I have yet to need the pliers for a fish. Another one probably pound and a half. I think I found a school of fish, something like that. He just dropped it. Shit. I uh, felt like another good one. Fish. There's redemption. That's the one we just missed. Doesn't feel big. Starting to see a pattern here. That's a crappie. Oh my God, that's a giant crappie. Okay. I was gonna say, starting to see a pattern here that the bass all seem to be about a pound and a half, two pounds. And then I catch a monster crappie. Okay, so. If this was a bass, be a certified dink. And th this is a giant crappie though. That may explain why I just missed him. And that may explain why I've missed a few fish here today. Could be crappie. I wouldn't have thought there were crappie in here, but it's not too surprising. Let's weigh him and tripod him. Multi-species day, just like that. Guy wanted to eat a big swim bait, over a pound. 1 point, 1 point 1.4 ounces, almost a pound and a half crappie. That's a giant crappie. Really any crappie over a pound is a giant crappie. All right, man, giant crappie. Thought I had a dink bass, but it's a giant crappie. Got some shoulders on him. Been hitting the weights. He's on the bulk right now. Pretty sure crappie spawn before bass do, so this is probably a male because he's not super fat. Females should have a little bit of a gut on them right now. Alrighty. Wow. What a day of fishing we're starting to have. 
right at sundown. Oh, there's some seagulls that want him. I hear him crying. That seagull's up about a thousand feet though. You want him? Come get him. All right, you missed out. There he goes. Unfortunately, horrible spot to release fish. I, I come to a pond like this, I see all the structure, and I think, you know, that surely the fish are in the structure, right? When in fact, seems like today the fish were actually offshore in deeper water, grouped up. So, earlier I was just cast into cattail clump like that, tree in the water, and now I come to realize that the fish are actually just out deep, sort of grouped up, sort of on nothing, which is weird, but it is what it is, and they're sort of biting on the paws too. I don't know that I've had a single fish today that hit on a steady retrieve. I might have had the first one. The first fish of the day might have done that, I think. Or the, sorry, not the first fish of the day. The first two fish of the day at the first pond definitely did that. But the first fish at this pond was like that. He hit on a straight retrieve. Everything else though has been on a pause. There's a fish. Hard to tell how good he is because he was stuck on a tree. I left the tripod way back there at the truck. Oh, nice fish. Come here, bud. That might be the biggest one of the day. And we left the tripod way back there. Yeah, we did. So, he's a little skinny, but he's very pretty and yellow. I'm actually going to waste five minutes now. I did it to myself, though. I got to go get the tripod. Sorry. But... I like getting good footage for you guys. My God. I might need the pliers for this guy. Let's try one more time. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. There it goes. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to tripod him because he's so pretty and yellow. We'll weigh him real quick, then we'll cut to the tripod shot. So that, to you guys, it looks like he was only out of water for 10 seconds. What do you say? Actually, he's already been out of water more than 10 seconds. Oh, I should have brought the tripod. I just half expected not to catch anything. I'd say he's two pounds. Two pounds, two ounces. Four ounces shy of that one earlier, but this fish might be actually longer. He's just not as fat. If he was built like that other one, he'd be the same size. All right, we'll see you at the tripod shot. All right, well, she's uh, he or she is biting me. I think it's a he. Second biggest fish of the day, so I felt morally obligated to you guys, my viewers, to tripod it. So there you go. There's your shot. Beautiful yellowish colored fish. Greenish yellow. Almost like a golf course bass, which is weird. I do catch a lot of these uh, this color at the golf course. For whatever reason. Hell if I know. Now we got the tripod, we'll go let this fish go. This fish has been out of the water probably two minutes at this point, I think. Catfish can survive out of the water about 30 minutes. Gar can survive for days. Bowfin can survive for days. Bass can survive about 10 minutes. So this fish is not happy with me, but this fish is in no severe, no serious danger. Put it to you that way. When I put her in the water, or him, I should say him, it's clearly a male. When I put him in the, and that's a big male, by the way, for a, for a pond. I mean, this is borderline a lake, but say a big pond, small lake. This fish may need a minute. By a minute, I mean like maybe five seconds to catch his breath, and then he'll swim off. He'll be fine. You watch. I've only done this a couple hundred thousand times in my life. Not this. I've caught a couple hundred thousand bass. How many have I had out of the water this long? Maybe 20. It's not, it's not every day. All right, bud. Here you go.
Oh wow, he's fine. He didn't even need a second to catch his breath. He took off like a missile. 